Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee. <clears throat> here, covering the Southern District of New York Courthouse. It's behind me, along with the Jenga building. Now, after the Trump circus is gone, and while awaiting rulings on uh, Miles Guo Wangui and Yvette Wang's bail, and tracking the Pros Michel case, there are many other cases here in the SDNY. Yesterday, we attended the guilty plea of Mr. Cartagena to having sold the heroin that killed actor Michael K. Michael K. Williams. Rest in peace. At the same time, uh, it was he was given more play, you know, than other people that die in that way. But then again, he was a great actor. Rest in peace. You can find the story on Inner City Press. Relatedly, today, Billy Ortega, uh, co-defendant. Billy Ortega is a man that sold also heroin and cocaine to some relatively high-profile New Yorkers. He was he had a trial and is probably going to get quite a few years. Uh, we'll see what happens. The two cases, we'll see. It's the same judge. So we'll see the sentencing of Ortega may portend what will happen to Cartagena. But I have to turn now, believe it or not, to Jeffrey Epstein. There was a filing this morning by Judge Rakoff in the case of Epstein uh, 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 against J.P. Morgan Chase. And there's this whole dispute about CSAM, which is uh, child sexual abuse material. Um, they don't want to call it child porn because that somehow connotes consent. Uh, and how the Epstein estate has to watch out for it and can't send it and has to tell the FBI if they find it. Meanwhile, and this is, this is we wrote that story, you can find it on Inner City Press and The Order, but last evening in the, or, uh, in the magistrate's court of the SDNY, there was a, a true child porn case, a, a mother who was caught filming herself having sex with her daughter and nephew and sending it to a man for money over Telegram. And what I want to say is that she was ordered freed. Now, maybe the government will be appealing today, but the name is Angelica Luciano. We wrote the story. You can find it on Inner City Press. We're also covering the UN, which is well known for child sexual abuse by peacekeepers. But that's another story, and we're appealing to get back in. InnerCityPress.com.